All right, everybody, welcome to another exciting edition of uh, Shipwreck with Pirate Stew and Princess Morgan. And uh, so today I wanted to go over some common malapropisms. What that's, a word. That's a hard word to say. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, but basically, that's where people say things, and I see this all the time. But in fact, one of them would get to somebody wrote it in an official email, and it was like oh. from a high level, and it was like wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I see people do this all the time. They say one thing and they're not saying the right thing. So I do that in songs all the time. <clears throat> so like I don't know the real lyrics. And well, yeah. So this is kind of like misheard lyrics, but it's like misheard grammar. Yes. So so I want to kind of test you oh, no. to see how many of these you know. Okay. And then we'll talk. We'll talk about what the common mistake is, and then we'll talk about the real one. Okay. Okay. So the first one is. People say for all intensive purposes. Do you do you know if that's right or wrong? That would be wrong. Okay, so so what is it supposed to be? It's for all intents and purposes. It's, it's for all intents, like you go camping in tents, intents and purposes. All right, so it's yes. not intensive purposes, like somebody's got a purpose that they're really intent on, and it's intensive, like intensive care. Mm -hmm. It's intense and purposes. Okay. But people mess that up a, all the time. I was a winner there. You were a winner. Yay. Yeah. All right. So uh, so let's go to the next one. Okay. Now, I hear that one all what? the time. I do what? think so that let's people... Go to the next one? No. Oh. The intense and... I, I hear people saying that incorrectly a lot. Well, because it, it's, it's kind of a homophone, <laughs> which is... <laughs> <laughs> which is something that sounds alike but it's spelled different so right so you have um like right like you write something and right like left and right those are homophones right. which they sound alike but they're spelled different and they have different meanings right okay. yeah <clears throat> so intensive purposes and intense and purposes they sound an awful lot alike so it's kind of like that it, it, i think people just mishear it and like me and my lyrics thing. yeah like misheard lyrics all right so this one is nip it in the bud but some people so is that right or is it nip it in the butt oh it's the first one nip it in the butt it's nip it in the butt which comes from like the, like, like a plant yeah right? like pruning a plant right? right if something starts to grow you nip it in the bud which means you cut it off before it has a chance to grow so it's like a plant thing but some people say nip it in the butt okay see i've never heard anybody That's, say that one wrong well According to the interwebs, it's a common mistake. <laughs> you can't believe anything you read on the see, internet. See, I right? wonder if they... I, I think I've heard people say nip it in the butt. Nip see, it in but the I butt. think they might know that they're saying it incorrectly, do you think? Or do you think that know. they think that that's the right... I don't and know. maybe it's become... A, a, they know it's incorrect, but it's cooler the second way. I don't know. I can actually see the... the All right. Well, let's go on to the next one. one. So number okay. three, is it correct one and the same or one in the same? It's one and the same. One and the same. Mm -hmm. You yeah. are incorrect. What? It's one in the same. If you say one and the same, that means you're talking about it's one and it's the same. Versus one in the same means it's like one in the same group of things. The, so the correct version is one in the same. Okay, that doesn't even make sense. I like okay, the you don't like that better. one better. No. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go to number four. <laughs> okay. Okay, is it deep seated or deep seated? Deep seated. E what? No, because it's, it's like a seated. plant is deep seated. It's down in the ground. It's deep seated is is in other words, it's seated in something deeply, right? Right. Not seated. A seated is like a plant, which means you plant a yeah, seed you deep want in your the ground. Seed deep in the ground. But that's not what it. No, deep seated is the correct is the correct one. Deep seated. Well, I think we might need to nip this in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You might be right for all intensive purposes. That's right. Okay. <laughs> all right. So let's, uh, let's check out number five here. Okay. All right. So is it case in point or case end point? Case in point. Or possibly even case end point. No, it's case in point. Case in point. 
You are correct. Ding, ding, ding. Because it's not case and point. It's yeah, that's case, silly. A case in point, like a, a case in, here's an example. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't, yeah. All right. Very good. All right. So let's see number six. Okay. So this one is when people say, you should have, could have, would have. Or do, is it say, should have, could have, would have? Which one's ha correct? Should well, I mean, have I or should have? What do I hear? Should have, could have, would have. I hear should have, could have, would have. That's what I hear too. But it's correct. To the say. correct way is should have, could have, would have. Should have, would have, could have. Not should of, could of. Again, it's one of those, the slang, I think, kind of drops. Yeah. Of, uh, you know, have yeah. becomes of. But I like the slang version. It's like M, right? I love them. Mm -hmm. yeah. In place of I love them. So, yeah. But it's correct to say have, not of. Yeah, I don't think I'll go there. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's check out number seven. All right. So, <laughs> you've got another thing coming or you've got another think coming? A thing. You have another thing coming. You're wrong. It's another think coming. You would... I've always heard... What? No. I, I, was, I think you're making this up. I was guilty on this one, too. I've always thought it was you've got another thing coming, but it's actually you've got another think coming. Well, who would have think that? <laughs> so, so, so here's the thing. What? The, the phrase was originally, it's, if that's what you think, you've got another think coming. That's what it comes from. Like another guess, because you got and they that just, one wrong, basically. And they just, right. And so they dropped the first part of, if, you've, if that's what you think, you've got another think coming. And it just became, you've got another think coming. And then so I think it transformed from that into, you've got another thing coming, because that's what I've always thought it was. I'm 56 years old, and I've always thought it was, you've got another thing coming. Absolutely. So and when I will I say said, that probably till the day I die. Probably. So when I said it should have been you got another thing coming, you should have the correct answer from you was you got another, another think, think coming because well, I well, got it wrong. the correct answer should have been if that's what you think, okay. you've got another. I'm going to adopt this and start saying to people, I'm going to use this one against people because I don't think anybody in the world knows. I don't. The I don't think anybody thing. knows that either. I mean, I wouldn't have known it because because I've said you got another thing coming. So, and I'll probably keep saying it that, because I've well, said Well, I'll keep it, saying it, but yeah. I'm also going to use the other one against it, it would be, <laughs> yeah, well, and look how people you say, you've got another thing coming. And they'll be like, what? Yeah, you that, said that wrong. Okay, that one's and really weird. And you can correct them. Yeah. Nice. All right. So, let's look at number eight. Okay. If you have a toddler over to your house and they and they they go amok, Julie. Do, they, do they wreck havoc or do they wreak havoc? They, well, we say they wreak havoc, but... I guess it would be you. No, 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 don't, don't overthink don't, it. You are you correct. You wreak havoc. You wreak havoc. You don't wreck havoc. But a lot of people say you wreck havoc. Well, I've always heard you wreak havoc. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say it the other way. Yeah. So, so to wreak havoc means you're spreading chaos. Anarchy, and destruction, toddlers spread stuff like chaos. That. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <coughs> so, so did you see one of my latest jokes? I had actually had a joke of the day about about that it was the joke was what's the fastest land oh mammal yes i in the did world? it's a toddler who's just been asked what's in his mouth and oh julie julie and she loves to run when she has something in her mouth yeah She's yeah they're horrible excerpt. all right so number nine i couldn't care less or i could have cared less or i could care less it should be i couldn't care less you're right because if you say, I could care less, that means you care a certain amount and you could care Lesser less than amount. that, right? That's right. So, but I hear people say that all the time. I could care less. I could care less. But that just means they do care. <laughs> and that's not what they were trying to say. So it should be, I couldn't care less. That's right. Yeah. That's Common. I, like I said, I hear that one all the time. All right. So let's check out number 10. So how am I doing? Like what's I don't know. my score? I, I I don't know. I was a keeping score. I'm a bad I'm a bad Wait. blog moderator. All right. So this one is please proceed or please precede. It's please, please proceed, proceed or please precede. It's proceed. You're right. It is please proceed. I think I'm doing really please well. Please proceed. 
But I, people again say that often. Please proceed. It's not proceed. It's proceed. But again, the lazy, lazy tongues and stuff, they kind of sling those words around and they get misheard. Yes. All right. So number 11 is going to be supposedly or supposedly. Oh, same. When I, say, when I really enunciate it like that, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious which one's right and which one's wrong. Yeah. I say it again because I didn't. Supposedly or supposedly. Second one, supposedly. <laughs> supposedly, yeah. that's not even a word. <laughs> Supposedly. It's supposedly. <laughs> what was that all about? Supposedly. Supposedly, you say supposedly. Supposedly, we're sp supposedly we're supposed to go. I don't know. Yeah. Well, supposedly. well, that validates the fact that it's a commonly misused phrase. So it is supposed. Oh, supposedly. Supposedly. Yes. If I was spelling it, I would. Spell it correctly, but if I was saying, if saying it, it, I would say, say it supposedly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we up to number twelve. Um, I guess so. So, so this is one where um, I saw this the other day in an official email, and it said the ins and outs, the ins, e n d, ins and outs. Oh, instead of ins. Instead and of outs. ins and outs. <laughs> And I couldn't believe it. I was like, ah, that makes no sense. Right? I mean, you got outs. The opposite of outs is ins. It just uh, just makes sense to me that nobody would ever get that wrong. But they actually typed out ins, E-N-D-S, and outs. I probably, but you know, I mean, <coughs> we sit here and we make fun of that. But sometimes oh, oh, when I've gotten some of these wrong. Sometimes when you're typing, though, you're typing how you say it and we kind of talk funny so the ends even though you know it's in and out i don't know i'm trying yeah. to i'm, I'm You're trying to that, justify the yeah, error I'm justifying their error give, give somebody the benefit of the doubt that's awful nice of you i know i am nice so so here's uh no, number 13 uh -huh. is do you do you just assume or just as soon so i would just assume have beer than Water. You assume. I just assume have beer than water, or would I just as soon have beer as water? As, are you saying like soon? S o o n. Assume a s s u m e. Right. I assume. just assume, or I would just as soon, j u s, and then as the word as a s, and then soon s o o n. That's not. Those aren't even words. <coughs> the first one is I. You said j a s. Oh, I don't know what I said. Okay, so let me <laughs> let me fix this. So so is it just assume A S S U M E or just as soon just and then A S space soon S O O N. Okay. Just as soon or just assume. Okay. If, well, it depends. Do you want to Do you want to have beer soon? Are you assuming something? They're, they're separate things. They're well, not. Have you, have you heard that phrase though? I would just assume, you know. No, I don't think be so. Be run over by a dump truck than let a dog lick me or something. I would just assume. Okay, that's just assume. Assume, right? Not assume. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. So you got that one right. <laughs> Yay! All right. So the last one is. Providing contacts for me. So so if you ask somebody to like use a word in a sentence because you want them to provide context for you, or is it providing contacts for you? Okay, well contacts would be like people's phone numbers. Exactly. Context is like the more information right, about the what you surrounding want. information yes. to put it in a so that you can figure out the meaning. Yes. Right. So again, yeah, you got that one right. It's Woo! providing context, but People sometimes get that wrong too. They say, "Provide context for me." Yeah, it sounds a lot alike, but I don't it's think they the sound like. Word. See, and I don't hear these a lot. <clears throat> well, some of them, yeah, some of them, a lot. But some of them not so common. At any rate, so so those are our malapropisms. I do like the nip it in the butt. <laughs> might be well, wrong, a dog might do but that. But it has a Re remember the uh, remember the copper tongue girl. 
the dog, yes, yes, dog uh, grabbing her, yep. her bikini bottom. That would be nipping in the butt. <laughs> so. Yes, he was. Literally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so so we good on on malpropisms? Yes. All right. Well, we could talk about... <laughs> We can talk about lyrics, though. <laughs> Song lyrics. Like, well, maybe we'll make that another episode. Oh, we can make that another so, episode. So, I don't know. How long? This is this is already <laughs> like 18 minutes or something. Oh, is so. it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Time flies when you're having malapropisms. <laughs> we can say goodbye, then. Bye. Bye.